Well, let's get further reaction to the attempted assassination of Donald Trump at a rally in Pennsylvania at around quarter past 11 last night, UK time, around quarter past six in Pennsylvania. Um, Anne Whittacombe joins me now, former government minister and best-selling author. Anne, a dark day for democracy. Yes, it is. And of course, it's not unusual in the United States where there is a gun culture. We think of uh, JFK and then his brother, Bobby Kennedy, uh, you know, both assassinated by gun. Um, it's the culture is there. Um, we have less of that culture here, but equally, we have much less intrusive security. And I would remind you of what Matt Millen once said when he was introducing his bodyguard to somebody, and I'm now mm. using direct speech. He said, this is the man who shoots the man who's just shot me. Yeah. I.e. he doesn't yeah. prevent it. Yeah. He reacts afterwards. Yeah. Uh, so um, it's possible, but we don't have quite that sort of culture. And I'm hopeful that we won't have. Although, do you think some quarters of the press, Anne, are trying to demonise Nigel Farage, the leader of Reform UK, in the way that the US media have dealt with Donald Trump? Well, yes, I mean, I think they've tried pretty hard, but equally, they haven't succeeded. And, yeah. you know, the electoral success of Reform is testament to that. The, the British tend to be quite resistant um, if they think they're being manipulated. Most definitely. And of course, we saw, for example, Nigel Farage attacked during the election campaign. He had beer poured on him. He had a milkshake thrown in his face. And there was a left wing commentator called Owen Jones who said it was a thing of beauty. An image of Nigel Farage being uh, attacked in such a way, assaulted, he said, should be in an art gallery. I mean, this this shouldn't be the level of public discourse, should it? No, but I'm very grateful that it was just a milkshake. I mean, I've had eggs thrown at me. I once had a custard pie thrust right in my face. Um, these are uh, occupational hazards, but they're of a low level. Um, it, it is when it gets serious that I think we need to worry. And I don't think our press and media or Owen Jones or anybody else uh, would encourage serious attacks. And how do you think this attack on Donald Trump is going to impact the outcome of the election in November? I suspect it will help him, actually. Mm. You know, there is such a thing as a sympathy vote. There is such a thing as deep disgust that anybody would resort to this, uh, and therefore a feeling that the, the victim deserves better. Mm. So uh, I suspect, if anything, it will aid his campaign, but clearly that wasn't the aim. And Anne, what a tragedy that an innocent bystander who's gone to this rally to support Donald Trump, a politician they admire, who they'd like to see leading America, what they imagine to be a man who can save America, they go to a rally and they don't come home. Well, exactly. And I remember, if I can draw an analogy, the Brighton bomb uh, in uh, 1984. Right. And uh, ordinary party workers, not, not just the big people, the big people by and large escaped. But ordinary party workers lost their lives in that. And, um, you know, it, it is a fact that a bystander can become the victim rather than the intended victim. And it's always a treat to have you on. We'll see you in your normal slot of 10.15 next Sunday. Have a nice evening, Anne. We'll catch up soon. My thanks to Anne.